Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome to another episode of Addicts to Victory here. And today we're back a little bit earlier than expected, but for very good reason. First of all, last time, where did we leave off? We left off, how could I forget, with Liverpool putting seven past us. But we put one past them, so we took the moral victory. Since then though, so much better. 1-0 against Birmingham, Plachetta with the goal. 2-1 against Portsmouth, Plachetta with a goal and then an Enlund Dulu penalty. After we blew a 1-0 lead, we always blow a lead, that's not surprising anymore. A 4-1 win against Coventry, uh, Vidovic with a hat-trick, good to see. And then a 2-0 win against Blackburn, Vidovic getting a double there, 5-2 for Vidovic, playing great. Leaving us top of the table, nice and comfy, with five games to with six games to play, I'm sorry. Looking like this, we are currently 13 points clear of Crystal Palace with 18 to play for. Which is why we're here today, because we could win the league, <laughs> very conceivably. Because uh, Crystal Palace against Blackburn, Blackburn and Palace in bad form. If Palace lose and we win, then we will be 16 points clear with 15 to play for and we will be promoted. It's a very important game, isn't it? And the game for us today, first of all, is against Oxford. Uh, Oxford, about mid-table, we should win this in all honesty. Which, you know, I hope so. Teams looking like this. Back four, Bogle, Retzos, Martel and Bayram coming and goal. Dobson, Webster, Nakai, midfield three. And Plachetta and Enlund Dulu on the wings with Vidovic up top. Good team. Game against Oxford. We win this. Palace lose. And we are officially promoted to the Premier League. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. Throw in long. Bogle heads clear. Can we get there? We can't. Brannigan does. I'm not going to try and pronounce that one. <laughs> More on the ball. Intercepted by Nakai. What a run from Nakai to get the ball. He's dribbling forward with it. Take a hit on Nakai. Holding it up. Gets it back to Dobson who buries it. What play from Nakai to win it at the halfway line. Get forward. Draw a man out. Get into Dobson. He smashes it home. Just over 30 minutes gone. Oxford nil. Charlton one. Half time. Uneventful first half. I couldn't care less about that because we're one nil up. We've got the lead. Promotion. Becoming closer and closer by the second here. We had the one lead at half time, keep it up in the second half, get the win, and put us one step closer to the promised land of Premier League football, along with the throw for Oxford. Byron can't intercept, disease is on the ball. Back to Long. Long going forward with it. To Maguan, Aziz, through ball, Ajay smashes high and wide, thankfully. Evans with a goal kick for Oxford, going for Ajay, Dobson gets onto it, Webster gives up on it. Christine on the ball. Barker, Maguan, Chrisen, Chrisen, Baluta, Baluya, Chrisen, Evans all. Goes for Ogbeen. Ogbeen gets there. Taking the ball forward on the right hand side for Oxford. Ogbeen. Ogbeen, can he get across? And he does. Ajay's header. Easily saved by coming. Martel picks up the loose ball at the halfway line. Gets it to Retsos. Centers it. Retsos. Through ball to Vidovic. In behind. And it's the post. Oh my god. That should have been two. Round the keeper. Hits the post. And it's the, it's it's kind of the inside the post. But not enough to put it in the net. Score remains 1-0. And about 62 minutes gone here. Gonna make a change. Vidovic should have scored. He's not having a good game overall to be honest. So he's gonna come off for... Uh, Dan and Lindulu's gonna go forward. And Isaiah Jones is gonna go onto the wing. Wide target... Forward, off, inverted winger support. Very much on. Crescent with the throw to Maguan. Brannigan, through to Ajayi. Ajayi to Barker. Barker, through ball to Ajayi, but coming. Comes out of his goal. And gets there first to Red Sauce to Martel. Dobson, Webster, Nakai. Dobson, Webster. Gives the ball away pointlessly, Webster, to Aziz. Ajayi, through ball, Aziz running onto it. I believe the former Arsenal man into Ogbeam, but Byram's there to just smash the ball away, which is, is what you got to do sometimes. Time for changes, though. Sam Byram is going to make way for Morgan Fox because he's very tired, and Brett Soss is very tired as well, so he's going to come off for Christian Bielek here. Free kick, Webster, ball in, and, plus, and Christian Bielek's there at the far post to nod it in off the underside of the crossbar. Christian Bielek has scored 
his second first goal for Joel and he, on his loan spell originally. He got his first goal and he's got his first goal since his return now to make it 2-0. And elsewhere, it's Blackburn 1, Crystal Palace 0. Meaning as things stand, we will be officially promoted back to the Premier League for the first time since, Jesus Christ, 2007, 2008. It's been a long time and the wait seemingly will be coming to an end with not only a Cholton win, but simultaneously a Crystal Palace defeat. Moore going for the loose ball by the halfway line, plays it to Brannigan, Aziz, to Long. It doesn't matter if Oxford score at this point, to be honest, it's a little, a little too little too late. Brannigan over the top ball through to Paul Morris, it looked offside to me as he hits the post. He was onside it turns out, but still hit the post, came to nothing, sure. On the ball, bringing it back for Oxford to McGuan. Barker, Barker to Bowler, Bowler. Back to Shaw, Shaw to Brannigan. Brannigan over the top to Ogbeen, but nope, Long's there. Aziz, Ogbeen has a go coming. Makes the save, tipping it behind. Ogbeen was offside anyway, as this time is very quickly running out. We're on the ball again, Nakai, Jones, Fox, Morgan Fox taking the ball forward to Enlundulu. Through ball. Can Nakai get there? He can't. Brannigan does. Sure. McGann goes forward, but Fox gets there. Nakai. Jones. Nakai. Webster. Through ball. Enlandulu has his shot blocked out for a throw in. Time running out. Crystal Palace still behind at Blackburn. Promotion seconds away potentially here. Aziz on the ball for Oxford. Going forward down the right hand side. Morgan Fox. Puts the pressure on, he gives away, but he's back on it. Martel intercepts though. Fox through ball forward. Moore heads it to McGann. Brannigan over the top to Ogbeen. Smashes it in. It will be no clean sheet for us today, but it's offside, so there will be. Oxford thought they had the consolation, but they don't. Oh my god. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but still, it's nice to have the clean sheet. It's Webster's on the ball out to Plachetta. It's full time. We get the three points. And I just want to go see what the Crystal Palace full-time score was because depending on that result we may be promoted to the Premier League already I thought I mean when I said you know they could blow it this could be the game we win it I didn't 100% believe that because I didn't I thought maybe you know most they would draw but if they've lost this which they were very late on then the Premier League beckons and Crystal Palace Defeated 1-0 by Blackburn, putting us 16 points clear of third, with 15 to play for, meaning I should have an email officially telling me that Shelton have been promoted to the Premier League. We have done it! I said at the start of the season, I thought we had a team good enough to push for the playoffs, and we've, we've done so much more from that. We've guaranteed promotion with five games left to play, back to the promised land of the Premier League. Currently six points clear of West Brom, so we will be back for one more episode this season where hopefully we will be clinching the championship trophy en route to the Premier League. Key player for the season, Pangiotis Aretsos. The £1.8 million man that I begged Thomas Sangar to sign, and thank God he did. He has been superb defensively. Superb passing as well, 97% pass accuracy in that ball-playing defender role. Absolutely brilliant i mean and we're back we're back in the premier league let's have a look i i just want to check how close i was i think i said 2007 2008 Sheldon last in the premier league in 2007 so 17 years outside of the premier league 17 years bouncing around from the championship to league one to the championship to league one championship league one championship 12th to first Sheldon athletic promoted Oh, with a budget of 34 million. I didn't see the dot from him. I thought I said 342. I was going to go fly out to Colorado and kiss Thomas Sangard myself. But we will take the 34 million, won't we? And the £475,000 wage budget. Oh, look at that. 34 million to spend. 267,000 in wages. I mean, that's going to be needed. Our squad is small enough as it is. We need to buy players. And we need to buy Premier League quality players because I would very much like to stay in the Premier League. We have a bunch of youth players coming in. 
Edward Gonzalez, a note on him. Where is it? Where is it? Let me scroll down in my emails. Uh, it's here somewhere. Here is the next gen 2024 top 50 won the kids in the world list. Edward Gonzalez, the man joining us on loan next season, is number 24. I thought he looked good. Apparently he is. He will be coming in on loan next season. A brilliant striking option to have. I think he'll do a very good job in the Premier League, to be honest with you, as a part of our squad. Whilst also other names of youngsters I'm looking at from that list, I'll let you know, are, I mean, they are strikers. There's this man, Ariel Dominguez, who of the two, I think, is my preferred one. The Mexican 17-year-old striker. He just looks really good, doesn't he? As well as Jan Miguel, the Austrian. Looks pretty good as well. Not as good as Miguel's, but as Dominguez. But still, looks decent. Uh, we also, let's just go over everything whilst we're here. We had our youth intake with some good-looking young players. Uh, do, 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 like this guy, Shamar Hutchinson, striker, Jamaican, 15 years old, high potential. God knows if he'll make it, if he doesn't, he'll make us some money. And then the left winger, Matthias Jungvenson. I'll go for the Swedish left mid with, I'll say, a bit of uh, emo Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3 look to him. Looks good, high potential again. Happy with that, and happy overall. As this episode comes to an end with us officially promoted back to the Premier League in our quest to bring the Addicts to victory, getting to the Premier League was a crucial step that needed to be taken. And in our third season, we've done it. Now next time, I don't know when we'll be back, but we'll be back maybe for that game against West Brom because it could be beat West Brom and win the title, which would be beautiful. Uh, but we'll be back at some point to hopefully see us win the title. If you enjoyed this episode as we've won promotion to Premier League and you're enjoying this series as a whole, then please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and thank you for watching.